Welcome back. It is time for the Oh Wow Moment brought to you by the Gloria and Roger Jones Children's Center for Science and Technology. And remember I said I had a show of all shows today. I don't have Audra today, but I've got Colleen and Ralph from the Oh Wow Children's Center. Hi. Hello. Hello. How are you guys doing? Good, good. And you know what, you guys, I love Ralph because <laughs> he's like the true hippie of the 2000 <gasps> millennium. Oh, wow. Check out that hat and the pin in the ear and the curly hair. I love <laughs> it. I love it. Ralph, how you been, bro? Pretty fantastic. All right, Pretty fantastic. all right. Well, Colleen, we've got eggs here. We what do. are you doing? Well, you know, Easter's right around the corner, yes. so everybody is coloring eggs. We are trying to do it a little more scientifically. Everybody uses food coloring yeah. and vinegar. Well, we like to add a little pow to our experiments. So are we going to explode something? Well, there'll be a reaction. <laughs> Besides your reaction, we will have a reaction. Okay. So we're going to use vinegar, and we're going to use food coloring, but we're going to add baking soda to our equation. So what happens when you mix baking soda and vinegar together, Madonna? Explosion. Pretty bubbles. much. A big reaction, some fizzing, some bubbling over. We did have a spill earlier today during our Am practice Am I going to make a mess session. on my boss's million-dollar cameras? Um, no, no, I spent no. 30 we of his did, dollars for some tickets. We did put paper out. <laughs> we didn't sign a waiver either. So. Right. Yeah. Let's yeah. go for it. Okay. <laughs> So we are all about experimenting and trying new things. So Ralph okay. and I have been over here already this morning and we've tried four or five different methods to see which one we like best. Okay. And we can't really decide on a specific one, but we're gonna try this one. All right. So we've got food coloring. We've got three eggs. Everybody can have some food coloring. Okay, I have blue. You have blue. Okay, Don't what am I gonna do? Don't get it on your fingers. Okay. okay, all right. So this is just a hard boiled egg. I did hard boil them. Um, and we have it sitting on a bed of baking soda. And we're just gonna take turns and drop some food coloring around. Any, any amount of drops? Yeah, and then we'll pass off our color to somebody else so that we can get okay. all different colors. All right. Here we go. All right. Yellow and blue make green. <gasps> That's true, and what do red and yellow make? Purple. <gasps> red and yellow? Orange. <laughs> Okay. I don't know. Okay. Well, we want to get right. polka dots. <laughs> okay. Okay. Here. So we've got our baking soda, and mm -hmm. we've covered our egg in some food coloring. Yeah. If you want, you can kind of swirl it around and see if you can get it to pick up some more color. All right. All right. And now we're going to add the best part, the reaction part. Okay. So we're going to put it on this tray just because. Right. Um, like I said, we have had a spill before. Okay. There is some vinegar right there. If you'd like to pour that on top of your egg, don't drink it. Okay. <laughs> it is vinegar. All right. Woo! Pour it all. A little more. Pour a little more. Pour Keep pouring. There it there is. You there go. it is. Okay. All right. <laughs> Can I pour it on yours? Sure. Ralph's got a whole other bottle oh, over there. This, oh, Ralph, you, you do it. Go Absolute ahead. Madonna, go ahead. Please, the honor. The honor. Nice. Oh, there it is. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, all right, one more. Too? Yes, yeah. ma'am. Woo! <laughs> Love it. <laughs> Love it. We've got some spoons. If you notice... What reaction did we have so, here? Um, so there is still some baking soda in the bottom of our cup and some food coloring kind of glumped at the bottom. <laughs> so <laughs> one way that we found we got lots of good colors is if we tried to pick up some of that baking soda with the food coloring it and drop it back on top of our egg. Oh. Oh. And kind of let it set a little bit longer. Like it kinda more makes, than a minute? Or? Yeah. It kind of makes almost like this really thick paste. And if mm. you let it sit on there, it absorbs more color. The vinegar allows it oh. to go into that hard shell. It Which is makes like it, a calcium. Right. right? Okay. So the vinegar, the acid in the vinegar will help break that down so that it actually absorbs some color. So the longer awesome. you let it set in your vinegar solution. The more color I'll get. The more color you're going to get. Just okay. like those packets you get at the store when okay. you sell in water. Okay. And but. and you know not to not to discount any of the packages that you get at the nope, store, nope. but vinegar and baking soda is what you have at home anyway. That's what you have at home. You probably have the food coloring laying around, and the reaction is what's mm -hmm. is what's fun. The reaction of that that bubbling, yeah, that, that bubbling, is fun. That releasing of the carbon dioxide. Um, okay. So look at Ralph's little oh, contraption. Now Ralph, how did yours get like that? Well, I utilized the paste in the bottom of the of the cup, and then we made just a little bit of a deck. A decoration, a little tie dye, you know, you oh you maybe you add a few more drops yeah. of creativity. Color if you've got creativity. Some time there. <laughs> I'm sorry, what am I what am I moving here? No, not that, uh, like, hey, you can add oh, more drops. Move Ralph's eggs. Oh, oh we're gonna oh, oh, we're gonna show Ralph's egg. Cover. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, there we Ooh, go. Ooh, Ralph's egg. Move oh. this cup so we can see. There we go. There. Yeah, that's our lovely director John telling you. Move <laughs> Thank this. you. Well, I will just say all these fun and exciting things can be found at the Oh Wow Children's Center for Science and Technology. Definitely. You guys are like so full of fun. 
We are, and we're actually getting ready to launch one of our new exhibits is coming in for our birthday in the middle of May. What will it be? Um, are you allowed to tell? We Sure. It's called Kids in the Kitchen. It's geared towards the much younger kids, so maybe like up to five, seven-year-olds. Okay. Um, and it is going to teach kids about how food goes from farm to store to table, mm. and there will actually be a chicken coop there oh. that involves some eggs. They won't be dyeing them, but they'll be able to collect okay. eggs from the chickens 